All of us at Navara Media have been blown away by the support we've got in our latest fundraising drive, so we can expand our operation in the new year. However, one person whose blood pressure exploded when an alternative media outlet asked for financial support was Maya Tusi. He is a right-wing YouTuber who often appears on talk radio. And now they're trying to uh, expand. How do they do that? They're going to um, essentially raise capital. They're going to raise funding and uh, make more revenue. <laughs> because they're communists. That's how it works. We have a video clip of the, uh, the video that they've now published to um, ask for money and ask for, uh, to raise funding for the channel. Something that, as we said, communists usually aren't in favor of. So the reason I'm doing this is because to show the hypocrisy of these people. Uh, they started it as a volunteer organization because they said, oh, we're not capitalists. You know, we don't need money. We're all fine. Then they realized life is tough. You need to raise revenue. You need to pay yourselves. You know, you can't just go outside Starbucks and wait for people to give you free coffee. So, I mean, those arguments are so fucking stupid. Ash, I want your, your take on this because, I mean, he was using your image there. But also I've seen in your, your sort of mentions the past week, so many people saying, ah, oh, because you're doing a fundraising drive, that undermines your claim to be a communist. I mean, look, what Maya Tusi is saying is stupid, but I'll give him this. He isn't remarkable at all in his stupidity. There's lots of people, including people who are far smarter than him and should know better, who decide that anybody who participates in the economy in any way by working, by receiving payments, by making a purchase is automatically a capitalist. Now, this isn't something which anyone with a passing familiarity with Marx, anyone who's serious about ideas would ever think in a million years. The problem that Marx had with capitalism wasn't with the idea that people receive payment, right? access to the means of survival in return for their work. That is not what Marx said. What socialism is or what communism is, is not a huge expansion of the volunteer sector where people are just scrabbling along on subsistence in order to pursue the very pure joy of backbreaking work. That's not communism. That's not socialism. The actually important stuff about being able to take surplus value away from the ownership class, um, having that go to the working classes, whether that's through communal ownership, whether it's through forms of, you know, workers' cooperatives, that's the central distinguishing uh, factor amongst, you know, other things, democratic control of the economy, blah, 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 uh, between a traditionally capitalist idea of how economy should work, how, how work and labor should work, and a Marxist one. Um, it's laughable, but it's one of those things which sounds easy because when no one knows what communism is, because it's just, you know, scary reds under the beds or completely discredited as an ideology, so discredited that you don't have to bother learning about it. Hucksters and grifters like Mr. Tusi are able to make a fairly decent living for themselves. And I would just also like to correct him on a point of fact, though he's never struck me as somebody to whom facts are particularly important. Navarra Media did not start out as a volunteer organization because we thought that that would be the really communist thing to do and it would corrupt us indelibly to be paid for our work. We started as a volunteer organization because there was space for a left wing media outlet in this country and there was not funding that was available to us to pay ourselves first while still investing in the actual product. We had to make a choice between do we set up a media organization or do we pay people with a small amount of money that we were able to crowdfund at the time. Now, because we have an audience which thankfully is a lot smarter than Maya Tusi's audience, we have enough coming in in terms of donations and subscriptions to not only pay ourselves, to not only cover the costs of producing this content, but to grow as an organization. Now, thank goodness for our audience who are just that bit more discerning, because I swear to God, if I ever caught any one of you slipping in the comments about, oh, it's not communist to get paid for your work, I'm shutting down the whole YouTube channel. I'm sorry. Game over for the whole thing. Ash, we have a process. <laughs> <laughs> we have a process. You can't just shut down the YouTube channel. 
Um, you, you, I, you made a mistake by giving me the password, man. You made <laughs> a mistake. You've put you've put all of those points way more articulately than than I possibly could. I am going to use this opportunity though just to point out um, that I mean communism also isn't flat pay structures, but we do have one. Um, so I think there are actually very few grounds where you can critique Navarro Media as an organisation which doesn't really practice what it preaches. Um, everyone in Navarro gets paid exactly the same. Um, we are a fairly non-hierarchical organisation. Not we're not we're not anarchists, but you know. Um, it's no one is exploiting anyone else um, at Navarra Media. And as, as Ash said, socialism and, and Marxism is an opposition to exploitation, not an opposition to getting paid. Yeah, I'm really surprised at how stupid those points were. But I'm sure if he goes on to talk radio and says all of that, he'll have the host going, like, oh, that was a very smart opinion, which someone has come in here to tell us. Um, because that's uh, the kind of undiscerning opinion they respond very well to. Mm -hmm.